Hey guys, it's been an interesting few days. Yeah, I've had two videos I've recorded and I just like completely didn't even bother editing them, uploading them or anything like that, but we'll talk about that when I get back from my shower. But right now, I'm gonna go quickly have a shower and then we'll talk about this and my videos that have completely failed the last few days. Yeah, so, uh, I'm going over to shower. I'll be right back. I'm going to talk about it later. Well, I'm back from my shower. Now, I didn't really mention it on camera, but a couple weeks ago, I was using my cast iron, and um, as you guys know, cast irons are pretty heavy. And what I was doing is I had it tilted so that I was pouring the butter out onto a plate, because that's usually what I do is I pour the butter onto my steak when I'm done cooking. And a couple weeks ago, I heard this pop, and something happened, and it didn't really hurt at first like it didn't even phase me I was just like oh ow okay sure something something pops you know like I've got arthritis like I can make all my joints pop and crack snap crackle you know I'm I'm just like a walking <laughs> failing bone structure ready to just collapse at any point so like all my joints are just starting to fail I knew I was going to have to to face something I don't like doing and that's getting blood taken from my arm um, because it makes me lightheaded for like a couple hours. So I went and had my shower, we're all cleaned up, we don't smell like salmon fish when we go into the doctor's office like we did yesterday. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think about it and it just... It was raining all day and I'd like smelt my jacket and that's all you could smell is is salmon slime and fish guts all over my jacket and I didn't even think about it so we're all fresh and clean it's not really raining right now so I've got a nice safe place for the van to stay parked for most of the day like I don't have to move it if I don't have to move it that's awesome because parking this thing downtown and parallel parking and stuff is pretty hard I've kind of been using my uh, north van and west van as like my little uh, van life safe space right now just because that's where I came into that's where I came from Squamish when I came into Vancouver this is kind of just where I parked this is you know where I know where the superstore is that's on native land so I can get cheap gas um, in the na the superstore is also on native land so I can get tax-free food um, and there was a doctor's office just down the road and I set up the Canada Post just by Walmart so everything's kind of located right here I don't have to travel more than 10 kilometers to get somewhere so I'm not driving 45 minutes to get to a destination and um, he also mentioned to get an x-ray so he can look at my uh, cartilage I guess he's looking at and making sure everything is good but I was just like you know I would like to rule out a hairline fracture because I don't want to make a hairline bone fracture worse that that was my main concern so he checked he said there's no broken bones so I was like okay cool Whew. I don't have to go for surgery and get like pins and needles whatever poked into my bones that's awesome so I went and bought a arthritis brace and this is basically so that I don't accidentally forget that I hurt myself and it is helping but there's been one time where I've had it on and I put the pressure on the wrong way and it hurt a little bit but so far driving with it is good so the cool thing is, is it's only a five minute walk to the x-ray clinic and it's a 10 minute walk to the pharmacy. So I can do a little loop, do all my little shopping by foot, and then we can come back to the van. 
the other place that I need to get is blood work. So we'll do that last, because then it's, it's, it's literally only, it's literally a five minute walk back to the van after we get blood work. So that'll be cool, because then we can sit in the van and relax, have a cup of tea for a little bit, and recoup before I get back into the driver's seat and start driving. So yeah, that's kind of been my day the last few days. Um, I did like record like a portion of a video yesterday, but it was just me talking about me getting my wrist done today. So when I get back from the pharmacy and my blood work and my x-ray, we'll talk about it. But uh, yeah, I'm not too excited. The other day I recorded a video. I had the camera set up on a tripod facing me fly fishing into the river and the first like five ten minutes I caught a fish and I was like yay I got that on video I lost my fly he literally just died and dashed after about a minute of play fighting so that was on me um, I did not know what kind of line was on my this rod right here and the line broke so I think before we take this line out again, we're gonna replace it with some true tested 12 pound weight on it, or 12 pound test on it instead of um, whatever Canadian tire put on this line. Cause it's not a bad line, but I don't think it's gonna handle, you know, a 20 pound, <laughs> a 10 pound salmon or anything heavier than that if I'm gonna be trying to catch chum with a with a fly so we're gonna fix that up we're gonna try it again so that was a kind of like a failed fishing attempt video i still have it on my computer but it just it's just corrupted i don't know what happened to that video it just completely 100 percent did not record and i was pretty disappointed because catching a salmon on the fly rod for the first time would be pretty cool to catch and well i didn't have any action after that i still have one more fly to try and uh, maybe we'll buy a couple more flies. Maybe Chad will sell me a couple flies. We'll see. That would be pretty cool. Happy Halloween to you guys out there. Stay safe, drive safe, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Man, it's such a nice, beautiful day out. We're actually getting a charge on the solar panels. It's crazy. Wish I was out there fishing. Today would be a great day to be out there fishing. <laughs> But yeah, I just got back from getting blood work done. I probably should probably take it easy for a few hours just to make sure. Back here at the van, got my little treat for being a good boy, I'm getting the blood work done. Because, <laughs> oh man, it's one thing that sucks about getting blood work when you have low blood pressure is you feel a little fainty. I didn't feel a little fainty today. I definitely like felt a little shock. I was like sweating for like two, three minutes. And then finally my body was like, oh, I'm gonna feel nauseous now. I'm gonna make you feel like you're gonna puke. And then, and then like five minutes later, I started feeling a little bit better. So didn't even look, I just closed my eyes. I was like, just get this done and over with. Thank goodness I only had to give three vials. Whew. And I had to give a little urine sample. So that was uh, kind of fun. So we're gonna hang out here for a little while. Probably gonna have a bite to eat, have some food, have a drink, make a cup of tea. And then we're gonna go enjoy the sunshine before it disappears. But yeah, that's kind of been my day. Is getting prepared, mentally prepared to get a needle done. Cause I'm not too big on needles. <laughs> I don't mind getting a tattoo done. But when it comes to getting blood work done, mm -mm, no bueno. <sighs> well deserved treat, my friend. You deserve a well deserved treat. Mm. My body's not gonna be happy with me. But me, my tummy, and I, we're gonna enjoy this. <laughs> So that's a thing. I uh, busted my handle. I can't even f open my door. <laughs> so now I've got to crawl through the pack 
over my freezer to get in the front seat, which is not what I had ever planned in mind. So, um, looks like I'm gonna have to be a repairman later on. I think they sell this at Lord Co. I don't know. We'll see. I can still drive the van. I can still get out the door. I just can't get in the door. So I've got to climb. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Today's just not my day. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> ah, happy Halloween, guys. I got a broken van, a hurt wrist, and I can't go fishing because the doctor says I need to wait a little while. <laughs> All right, let's take off down the road. Uh, it's not gonna stop my plans. I've got plans, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. All right, we'll see you guys down the road. Normally I'm not a big person on leaving my van parked in front of houses, like actual houses. I prefer to park, you know, in the city or whatever. But uh, there's a spot like right here I can park as well. It is beside houses, but it's not like I'm spending the night here so but we're gonna go check out this park here it's right on Ca Capala Capalino Capalino uh, River and right now I think you can catch four coho per day so well but we can't park here because you need a uh, some sort of parking pass like ebb and flow or a something aisle lost aisle I don't know it just says you need a permit to park here. <laughs> Which sucks, but that's okay. There's street parking for two hours, and then there's parking over there that you can park practically all day, it's like. But let's go see if we can even spot anything. So if there's no fish, there's no point in fishing. But there should be some coho and some chinook in here. So, chinook, 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 I don't know. Shiny, shiny. Shiny salmon. That is some fast flowing river. I'm not seeing any fishermen. If I could find a little like pool or something, maybe I could see a sign. There might be some fish. Anyone have any suggestions? You guys have any suggestions on where I should go fish for, for some salmon that's close by? Let me know. I'm in North Van or West Van or both. I'm gonna head towards um, Mission here in a few days if I uh, can't find a good spot to fish close by to my mailbox, my temporary mailbox. <laughs> Man, these are some sketchy, sketchy rocks. They're so slippery. They're just covered in a layer of moss. So glad I got new shoes. I will keep browsing this. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm still in the park. And there's, whoa, oh. Man, thank goodness for this wrist thing, because that might have hurt. That might have hurt a lot. It's like a little uh, swimming pool. No salmon here. That's cool though, somebody did some work there. This is like a big swimming pool, and that's like a baby swimming pool. That's kind of cool. Should I even be doing this? I just had blood work. <laughs> oh well. I feel fine. I feel good. Otherwise, I wouldn't be out here. I wonder where that is. How to get to there. That might be an alright spot to fit. Okay. Back to the van I go. Okay, so I've made it all the way back up the stream again. And there's like, it's almost impossible without putting the waders on. And I, like, this might be good fishing, but it doesn't look very comfortable and easy to get to. And very plentiful. So I think we're gonna have to make a trip upstream, see if we can find a better spot. All right, we have arrived, and we're on the Capolino Regional Park. And the fishing journal says there's a really good spot for like three to five fishermen down here, but it says you need access to the other side of the road. Or I mean, the other side of the river. So I don't know if that's true. I found a perfect parking spot here on this side of the river, on the east side. 
So we're going to walk down to the river and see if we can get access to the river from here. If not, then we'll uh, rip down the road and go to the other side of the river. But I figured out why not. We'll check it out. It's unfortunate we can't fly drones here. Otherwise, that would be a perfect opportunity to throw the drone up in the air to get a good scout of where I could possibly get down to the river. Because there might not be access from here. So there's two locations. There's one in the tip here, and then there's one here. That's the hatchery. You can't fish within 200 meters of that. So anywhere from here to here is where we're supposed to be looking for. All right, let's see. Where's the maps say we are? So we're right in between those two locations. And we've got a left and a right. Well, <clears throat> that's a good sign. <laughs> that is a very good sign. We've got four, five, yeah, I'll get a couple of fishermen down here. Man, this place is crazy. So half these cars that are parked here right now, and there's quite a few. They're all down there count uh, they're all down there fishing. And a lot of them are on like steep cliffs and they've got like 10 foot nets. And some of them got nets on ropes, so you just lower the rope down the cliff, put the fish in the net just to get up the cliff. That's crazy. And it looks like the area that you need to get down to, or you need waders to get to, because the stairs are like blocked off and you've got to walk down the stairs, walk through a bunch of water just to get to a good fishing location. But there's like half a dozen people down there. So we're gonna move on to the next location and see how it is. So we're in the area. I figured there's one more spot that we can check out. We're on a little trail hoping to cross the river and get to the other side all right it's getting late in the day fishing's just about over for the day but uh this is actually a really nice spot um don't need the waders because you're not in the water but i seriously need a longer net i think that would make the world of a difference but i think this would be a good spot to show up early in the morning and get a good spot fairly close to the road, fairly easy to get into, fairly easy to walk into, and the water's like relatively calm right in that one spot. If everything works out tomorrow, we'll come back here tomorrow in the morning, check it out. I'm headed back to the van, and we're gonna go find a place to sleep tonight. So they're on the rocks down there, this whole pool should be good to fish. It looks like Coho ended tonight on the Capilino River, but you can still get four Chinook. And I'm um, not sure exactly how to get them on the hook. I mean, we could go try the spinners and the jig, or just throw a fly in there and see what happens. Like, who knows? You know, we could go play with it and see if the Chinooks will start biting. And I'm not 100% too sure on. Um, Capilino River but uh, I stopped and grabbed a net so that should make it a little bit easier it's got an extendable handle which should make grabbing the salmon out of the lake a little bit easier with a you know massive handle versus my little uh, my other handles like this big <laughs> and the nets like here so this thing is huge this is gonna make a huge difference Probably shouldn't have bought it, you know, I can't really afford it, but I figure if I'm gonna try fishing that location, then I'm gonna need probably a little bit longer handle than that. But that's gonna be it for tonight. I'm gonna hang out in the van, I'm gonna cook a steak. Got my steak all thawed out here. I feel like this is gonna be a fishing channel from now on. <laughs> it's not. We're still gonna go hiking, we're gonna still go water, visit waterfalls, but right now it's like salmon season kind of thing. And the salmon are like biting like crazy, so I figure, you know, take advantage of it. We've got a couple weeks left of uh, 
that we can try and get a couple more salmon in the freezer. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Life with Spike. Alright guys, peace out.